So this one is called The Root of All Evils. With you I am not, but with her I am, so much more deeply than before. I relish in my thoughts, lie among the daisies and listen to every gust of wind. I appreciate the sun of how she warms my skin. My soul is full, the shoulders tingle. This is home, no friends, no foes. Howling at my soul, she has spoke for days, and in turn we have ignored her call for attention. Too much pretension in human communication. We have lost our calling to what keeps us from floating off into space. Yet we move like aliens with devices glued to our face. This is now a sacred place, so treat her with the same love and sanctuary that you treat him, who cannot even give you focus for an hour, yet she warms your skin. Shelters you from the rain and gives you space to let your worries drain into her rivers that carry your chaos away. We're all going to die anyway. Is your justification for killing your greater mother, yet during tsunamis you cry and carry each other? Drag each other out of forest fires, mourn for the deceased of earthquakes past. You run away from hurricanes with the same desperation that you claim to lack. But still we drain her of her water creations, massacre her forests and poor with nations. Our brainwashed community has formed its own herd. To Mother Nature, this is absurd. She created sheep for a reason. Together we should not stand with the leaders who drain her for all she is worth. You should question your own whilst you sit back and let them destroy this land we call home. For there is no life without the magic of her soil to fill your bellies that he could only fill with butterflies for a day. Then he filled it with dread. But her birds circle your head and populate your summer with colours of happy. Their delicacy makes you question why the world is so heavy-handed. She picks you up and he leaves you stranded. If all you do is take, you'll end up in debt, but we're hoarders of money, so she makes us sweat, humid air on which we struggle to breathe, but contribute to the greenhouse effect and the same treatment you will receive. If every action has a reaction and our leaders have their best interests at heart, then we should evaluate their practices from the start because they're sacrificing our greater mother for the monetary benefit of each other. The root of all evil in abundance they hoard and they still convince you to come on board. We evolved to be morally good, but not to be motivated by it, but charging for plastic bags rectifies it, so you sip on your paper pride, clutching at straws, driving your petrol-fueled car on the way to admire SeaWorld. We only put value on creatures who are beautiful who will kill tuna in mass, but killing clownfish wouldn't be suitable, because Hollywood told you that. It's like we pick species out of a hat and say, you matter and you can die, the Hunger Games is real, but not for you and I. Feasting on a banquet of denial, and yet we point each other and say, we are all worthy, but the Equality Act does not cater for them. But we rely on her to provide us with hours then. Yes, sometimes we are in need, but if need morphs into greed, then we are merely ungrateful for the most valuable present that we will ever receive. Let her fire erupt, let the oceans rise and flood the decking that you cut her trees down to build. Bury the factories in water for the fish want to return the chemicals poisoning their gills. We push poison into the sea to buy houses that our great-grandchildren will flee because our great land is disappearing under the sea. Not a pretty sight above or below, the Great Barrier Reef now resembles snow. Is this the way you want her to go? The cycle, of energy is, the cycle of energy is real and this planet can heal. So I speak a little louder, I practice compassion, I'll buy less plastic, I'll avoid fast fashion because if I hold up my armour, protect the naivety I harbour, we let the children endure this cycle of our karma. Thank you. <laughs>